You hear the screeching of an owl You hear the wind begin to howl You know there's zombies on the prowl And it's terror time again They've got you running through the night It's terror time again And you just might die of fright It's a terrifying time Hello, hello everyone, Core is back and today we've got another issue of quality of life mods. We're going to be covering a handful of mods that seek to improve and enhance your game in small but noticeable ways. I'd like to thank Path, the creator of the Cryogenic Winter mod, for the suggestion for these mods. He helped point out some good ones. It's very much appreciated, mate. One last shout out goes to Kado Phoenix for her artwork. Check her out down below and let's dig in, shall we? This mod seeks to fix one thing and one thing only. You ever have multiple weapons that fit the same slot, such as the back or the holster? You go to swap between them and whoops, now you're over encumbered because you pulled out the second gun without putting away the first. Well, with this mod, if you have something in your hands that's say a back weapon and you hotkey to pull out the back weapon, it'll replace the one in your hands and put it on your back and the one on your back will go in your hands. Overall, it's a small but very nice and pleasant change for the better. This is especially useful if you juggle a lot of weapons at the same time, such as small blunt weapons or handguns. You ever get tired of spawning in the same handful of houses? You wish there were more profession based spawns? Well this is the mod for you. This mod adds hundreds of additional spawn points to the game that can be grouped by various themes. You can choose the spawn in areas based upon your profession, spawn based on a role playing theme such as being a hitchhiker, attempting to pick your kid up from school during the zombie apocalypse, spawning in the jail either as an inmate or a prison guard, waking up in the hospital like your Rick Grimes and more. Basically this mod expands spawn points and even allows you to spawn in some of the other towns like Ekron or Valley Station. Overall it's a very useful mod that can be used for both roleplay and spicing up your spawn points and getting away from those typical starting areas. Alright, this one is really damn simple. You ever want to complete that big boss cosplay from Metal Gear Solid 4 in game? Well, now you're one step closer with these warm and fluffy trench coats. That's all. That's all it does. It adds trench coats to the game. And the typical stuff you'd expect from clothing. These are very useful for winter starts. Or those madmen who like to play cryogenic winter and need a bit of a boost to keep warm. As they serve as very effective overlayers to help insulate most of your body. Pair it with a warm hat and some nice gloves, maybe a scarf, and you're well on your way to surviving the harsh winter. This is one of my favorite features that's in the Scrap Weapons mod, and now it's a standalone feature for all those who want it. This mod lets you craft spears even easier than before. No knife or sharp rock and tree branch required. All you need is a mop or a broom. Grab one of those, select the break option, and snap the front off. Boom, you've got yourself a quick and easy crafted spear. Ready to start swinging against the hordes, impaling everyone. These are absolutely perfect for sweeping zombies off their feet and mopping the floor with them. You'll send them straight to their broom. Alright, this one's literally what it says on the tin. There's no fancy bullshit, no trickery here. You take a gun, and you blow your brains out. Now this mod does feature some cross compatibility with the Scrap Guns mod, so if you want to use a modded gun to do the deed, then feel free. This mod's really only useful for two things, dicking around, or killing your character after being infected in a faster way than downing a bottle of bleach. The nice thing about blowing your brains out though, it means your character can't reanimate so there's no risk of your zombie body thumping around and fucking things up in your face. I also do like the animations for the action as well, and the way you ragdoll after a handgun kill. Though the censorship of the kill is a bit disappointing, I can understand not everyone wants to see that. It can be a little shocking. 
but this is also a game where you'll literally get dragged down by the hordes and ripped apart. So, eh, either or. I also do like the fact the mod confirms if you want to do it, so you don't accidentally just click and run over. So that's a good idea. You got too many spools of thread clogging up your inventory? Too much fishing line scattered around your garage. You tired of sorting through piles upon piles of planks and pulling them out one by one? Well, this mod seeks to allow you to combine pretty much any of the drainable items in the game into larger piles. On screen is a list of what can be combined. Another nice perk is besides the fact that this lets you declutter your inventory, is the fact that the more you combine, the lighter it gets. As much as up to a 50% reduction in weight, letting you to carry more on you and in your storage. Overall, it's a groovy and simple addition that definitely improves things. Keeping with the theme of sorting, you ever get tired of the fact that Zomboid's item system is vague as hell? and it just doesn't sort well? Well, this mod seeks to fix that. By grouping things into more accurate categories, you'll be able to use the sort feature to more effectively find things of the same type. Say if you want to throw all the medical items into a box, but you get tired of having to scroll through your entire inventory to pick out the random bits and pieces of equipment. Overall, it's a very useful little quality of life enhancement that definitely makes cleaning up your inventory a lot less of a hassle. Continuing this theme of sorting, this mod seeks to sort out those goddamn bookshelves. Instead of grouping them by skill level, the books and magazines are now sorted by type. By that, I mean books of the same theme will group together. So take for example all the carpentry books, they will now be together, instead of spreading out all over the bookshelf. Same is true for skill magazines, and entertainment books and magazines also group together as well. Overall, this is a nice little change for those who get tired of scrolling through your bookshelves over and over again just to find that one book or magazine you want in the sea of madness. This mod seeks to make fanny packs actually goddamn usable, because in their current state, they're pretty fucking worthless. I mean, they weigh one pound, and they give a whopping 7% weight reduction on their inventory, and they slow you down by 3%, all while only holding three goddamn pounds. It's not even worth carrying a fanny pack in the base game, but this mod seeks to fix that. Now the fanny pack only weighs 0.1, which is a much more realistic weight for a damn fanny pack. It boosts the weight reduction to 80%, allowing it for the actually reduce the weight a character would be carrying. And it even fixed the run speed modifier, making it only drop movement speed by 1% instead of 3%. The only negative is it still only holds 3 kilograms of weight. But fanny packs aren't very big, so this still allows it to be of some use. Maybe use it to carry all your ammo for your guns or some medical supplies. Either way, this definitely fixes the fanny packs in a nice way. Are you tired of having to manually water your fields or hoping for the sky to do it for you? Or maybe you've got an indoor farm due to modding the outdoors to be insanely deadly? Well, these irrigation pipes will be very handy for you. These allow you to hook your farms or machines that need water to sources of water. You want to use the washing machine but the water's gone out? No problem, just pipe it to a barrel. The nice thing about this mod is whatever the farm's level of hydration is, the mod will keep it at that level, topping it off about once every hour. The only water source that it won't work with is natural water sources, so you can't just pump unlimited water out of the river or lake into your farms. But you can hook the rooftop rain barrels to the sink to get fresh water, and you can hook several barrels together so they'll share water levels between one another. Overall, a very useful addition. I bet you had a favorite piece of clothing just get destroyed on you by zombies. Or maybe you tripped and ripped it. Or maybe it just wore out naturally over time like shoes. Only for you to discover that it's incapable of being fixed. Well have no fear for this mod seeks to change that fact. This mod allows you to repair pretty much any piece of vanilla clothing. 
which is definitely a nice change, especially if you located a rare piece of loot and you don't want it being torn to shreds. Well, that just about concludes this video. Here's hoping some of these mods help to improve your next run of the game. Overall, quality of life mods add those little touches and fix those little things that annoy you in a game. Sometimes those ones that you might not even notice until you find something that fixes it. Before I go, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out Kato and me down below. This has been Core, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for the support, and peace out.